Hey, what's up guys? This is 3D Bonfire back with an amazing tutorial. And this time I want to talk about my most important tool as a 3D artist, okay? So ask yourself, what's inside of this little box here, okay? So maybe it's a copy of the new Cinema 4D version or Marvelous Designer or these two great programs here, okay? But no, it's not, okay? It's something really basic that you really need every day. And for me, it's a really a time and a lifesaver, okay? So I couldn't live without my custom-made notebook, all right? And now you think, Marcus, this was really a bit disappointing, man. You really want to talk about notebooks? Yes, actually, that is the case, all right? So I want to tell you why you need a custom notebook. I mean, you can also do it with an app, of course, but I just love my new notebook, all right? This is the structure, and let me just quickly talk about it, okay? So let's just go a little bit closer to it. Okay, so this just helps me to give every day a structure. And since I'm a digital artist and I work eight to 10 hours from Monday until Friday in the digital space with a Wacom or a mouse, I just really love to just take a pen and write something down. All right, so that could look like this one when you fill it out. Over the years, I developed the system. Okay, so you can see this was my previous notebook 2021. And if you go really close, you can see this also has little tiny dots to help you to just write in a straight line. And uh, I just love dot paper, all right? So I did this one with cinema and Photoshop. And then I went to the copy shop and printed it and put these rings into it. And I just love it, okay? So let's talk about my notebook 2022, okay? So this is the brand new version and it's definitely an upgrade to the older version, all right? So let's just focus on this one. And maybe before we go too far here, I just wanted to mention that on Patreon, you will get part one of this training part two and three which is a bit more in depth all right so if you want to learn more about this one or if you want to see 100 and more tutorials on Patreon, then this will be the right place for you. All right, so this is it. I mean, this is really personal, so don't laugh about it. I mean, everyone has its own structure and I will provide you on Patreon with the template. Then you can get rid of stuff that you don't need, but this is working for me and maybe it's just interesting for you how I work on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? So you can see, I just put a date here, okay? You write it down or maybe, you know what? We jump from the empty one we can jump to this one, okay? And here you can see, this is what I call a successful day, okay? So I was really happy with this one. And I also have this little checkbox when I think it was a good day, yeah, put a sticker into it. Or, I mean, you could also put a laughing smile into it or some sad face, okay? So this is up to you. Maybe you don't need that. I just love to be a bit more playful with my calendar, with my notebook, all right? So just put a date here. And then I get up, I work, start here. This is where I end and then I come home home to my girlfriend's place. Okay. So I need to drive with the bike and uh, I just fill this out. Okay. So this is what I aim for. Okay. So on a good day, I get up at seven. I start work at nine. It's not so easy to read, but I hope you still can see it. Then work end around six in the evening. Okay. And then I drive my bike half an hour and then I get home. Okay. So you can see I was getting up at this time. Work started here. I ended it at half past six in the evening and the rest you just can read here. Okay. So I have these categories here for sport, health, work, and social media. And this one is a notes and checklist for every day. Okay. And you can see for sports, I just have these bullet points that are really important for me. Of course, you can download the template and just change this one. So for me, it's I drive from Monday until Friday to my home office with the bike. Okay, so this is really important for me to just be healthy and do a little daily cardio. Okay, I also wanted to track this point, strength and stretch routine before I really sit down on the computer. Because you know, sitting on the computer is really not the most healthy thing that you can do for your body. That's why I just want to track some sports stuff here. So I know, hey, I still stay healthy, all right? So I aim to do the strength stretch routine every day, 10 minutes, and I want to track an additional stretch pause at work for two to five minutes, okay? So I do this at half of my day, daily work time, between four to five hours or something like that. Then I just want to stretch a little bit, do maybe some sit-ups, 
keep it really short and then get back to work. All right, and this is also something that was inspired by Wim Hof. I also try to do a cold shower before I get to work because I also feel like this is giving me even more energy for my work, okay? Of course, you can also leave these bullet points empty to be a bit more flexible every day. So if you do something special like go, go climbing or do some yoga, then you can also put it here. But of course, as I said, download the template on my Patreon and just change this to your liking. I also want to track some health stuff, so sometimes I take some supplements like um, in German it's called magnesium for sports all right I want to be sure that I have a happy breakfast and this is more or less a joke but it's really important for me to have a happy girlfriend because when I work too long and come home every evening at 22 o'clock okay then I can't say that she will be happy all right so I just keep an eye on my work time on my work-life balance and this is just a reminder for me all right so maybe you don't need it you just put in whatever you like and then after work I like to just judge myself how good was this day so I give me from 0 to 10 points for the focus how efficient was my work day actually all right so 9 is a really good value 10 is the best I just treat this like a video game so I like to give me points for some reason okay strange thing but for me it's kind of fun all right then I give it also a distraction value from 0 to 10 obviously when this one goes up that's not so cool okay so I have a value of 3 because I was uh, a little bit on the phone I was uh, maybe watching a YouTube video, but free is more or less okay. But just be sure that this one doesn't go too high because then you think that you worked, but actually you wasted your time on YouTube or social media, all right? And then this is the total value of project time, the time that I spend at work, okay? Then I split it up into the different projects here. You can see I was spending six hours on this one, one hour on a course here and on and on, okay? So you can see this is really nicely structured. It's definitely custom tailored for my needs as a 3D artist, but I still hope this would be just a good inspiration for you, okay? Also, social media is cool quite important for my business. So I have the main categories, Patreon, Instagram, YouTube and others. And then I just track how often I post on these channels. For example, on Patreon, I had an article, one post on Instagram and four stories, for example, all right. And this is where you can track your growth. So maybe you have three more subscriptions for your Patreon, a couple of followers here and there, okay. So you can just see how your channels develop, all right. And this is the most important for every day, all right. So you start here. Actually, I do this in the evening when I quit my work in the last five minutes, I go to the new sheet of paper. I will write down my tasks for the next day, starting with the most important. All right. So I also mark this one with uh, with some color. So the most important task is to make this tutorial. And then I write down the secondary tasks that I want to do on this day. And then on the next day when I'm on it, actually, then I just put a line through it when I did it, all right. Yeah, this is just how I treat it. So just keep in mind when your day is over, in the evening, you already prepare your next day, all right? So just go here and write down what do you want to do on the next day and just be sure to also select your most important task, okay? So this is really helpful. And then just wake up in the morning and go through your structure, right? Okay. All right, so I kept this one really short, but just be sure that on Patreon I have over 100 tutorials for Cinema 4D, X Particles and Octane. All right, so all the good stuff is there. And especially this month, January 2022, I talk all about productivity tools, my workflow. So I go really deep into it and show you productivity tools, tips and tricks and all the good stuff. All right, so just be sure to check my Patreon, okay? All right, and I think this is it. I mean, this is quite personal, but I wanted to share it with you and uh, you can laugh about it, but I just hope that it will be inspiring for you, okay? Of course, feel free to use an app for this one if you don't like to use a pen and paper stuff, okay? But I just think if you're a digital artist, man, you need to do something else. And for me, it's just fun, as I said already. Anyway, thank you so much for listening to this training. Have an awesome day. Bye, guys.